So the the uh, purpose here is I, I just want to show you the details of uh, using StatCounter.com uh, and specifically the visitor paths. Okay, so if we click on the project, project name, we come in here, and this glance right here, just looking at these stats, can give you quite a bit of, uh, of information about the performance of your site. We've got the key right here showing us page loads, so that's the number of pages the, the visitors are seeing. Unique visits, the number of unique individuals coming to the site, and then returning visits. Uh, that's uh, if it's been more than 30 minutes or so, and you can set the length on that, but I think 30 minutes is the shortest. So if it's been longer than that um, and they come back, then it's considered a second visit, a return visit up from the same person. Okay. And so uh, we we like to see that pretty high, but the big thing is we want to see a, a discrepancy between these two. We don't want to see this because if we're seeing 30 unique visits and only 30 page views, that means that was a 100% bounce rate. You know, they're just hitting one page and leaving. Um, what we want to see is that green bar being at least double what the blue bar is. Okay, uh, generally or or as close to that as we can get. Now, when we get higher numbers here, um, then it uh, you know it might change a little bit. But generally speaking, with most websites, and you know there's an exception to every rule, but with most websites, we want to see that people are browsing through multiple pages rather than just hitting one page and leaving. Now, of course, the you know one exception to that would be if we had a website where it was only one page or the landing page we were using to drive traffic to, we just wanted them to fill out a form on that page and that was it and they're not going anywhere else. You know, if that's what we want, great, then we'll have a 100% bounce rate, but we're still converting. If we're not converting and we, we have a traditional e-commerce dropship type website and this is what we see, then something, you know, something's not good. We need to, to look at our staff to see what, what we can change. Now, typically, uh, you, you really delve into the stats more if you've got 50 or more visitors per day. But if you're looking at 20, 30 visitors a day, and most uh, um, most of those, are, or, or all of them, are just hitting one page and leaving, uh, then we, we want to look and see what's happening. So we come over here to this list on the left-hand side. You've got all these different options of what you can look at. One of the things uh, I like, in fact, this is the main reason I use StatCounter because I have seen no other um, statistics uh, analyzer that, that offers this visitor paths. Google Analytics doesn't even do this. So we go into visitor paths, and you can see here it shows you exactly what they searched for, how they, uh, you know, how they found your, your site. You can click on it and see the search. If we click that right there, it will take us to the search page. So there we can see on Google um, what they searched for. So there, this is somebody who is actually searching seasidefavors.com plus index. In other words, this is somebody who is just checking your site. They are probably doing some marketing for you or something like that, and they just want to go in and, and see what's the index page. Okay. It might be the telemarketers, or right here we can see this is Google. So Google is looking at your site. This is Google indexing the site um, for some reason. So uh, in fact, that's what has happened. They've come in and, and they're just checking out your site. So if you've installed Google Analytics or done other things uh, with Google accounts, Google AdWords or AdSense or anything like that with Google products, they're going to come in and check you out. So they came in on the 11th, the 12th, the 16th, the 18th, the 19th, 23rd, 25th, and 25th again. Um, doing this same search. Okay, so this is something that they're doing to check out your site and see what's happening uh, and uh, see where you're indexing and stuff. Uh, that's that's what's happening right there. So obviously, uh, um, Google's been uh, looking at uh, at the site a bit here. Uh, it's not. It's it's really neither good or bad. We want to see legitimate customers. We want to see viewers or you know searchers uh, for our site really coming in here more than we want to see Google. I'm not sure why this would show so many uh, uh, visits from Google uh, initially here, but with a brand new site that may happen. So. So 
and this don't don't stress it because this is this is pretty typical for a brand new site. I mean, when you're new, you're going to have more, you know, Facebook corporate looking at you, Google corporate. You're going to have more of that kind of stuff happening in the beginning. Directories that you're linking from, they're going to come in and visit, and make sure the site's real. You're going to have more of that happening than you will legitimate visitors until after you've done a lot of marketing and, and things pick up. So this is part of why I tell people don't wait on your marketing because you're not going to get immediate results just because you put something up on Facebook or on Google Plus or you know you build a few links out there. That's not going to drive immediate legitimate visitors or, or you know searchers for your product you're going to get some visits that uh, um, that are from the corporate uh, side of uh, you know Facebook or Google and such which is what we're seeing here for the majority of these um, here we finally have one that looks like a, a you know a little more legitimate possibly we've got this weddingzone.com slash vendor Massachusetts seaside favors so it looks like a local um, uh, you know, local link or something like that, a, a directory link uh, uh, there. But again, see, we've got uh, people coming from there, but they're just hitting your your homepage, and that's it. They're not going any further. Now, if we look at this, and if we see more of the legitimate visitors coming to the site. Um, these guys got your link, and they're just coming in, checking it in. So most likely, that's a, a directory or something like that. Um, or a marketing firm that's having somebody do some searching for them. Shaw Communications in Canada, here's a legitimate search. Google.ca beach themed wedding website. You rank number 15 on Google, which is uh, halfway down the second page for that phrase on Google uh, CA. So that's promising to see that. Okay, that we that we see a ranking for that term and that phrase. That's that's good. I like that. Uh, we just need to get that to climb so that we can, you know, we, we want to do a little more work on that. Um, over in the UK, you're getting ranking for a similar phrase there, but again, they're hitting your home page and and then leaving. They're not going beyond that. So the next thing I would look at, we're seeing a lot of this with, with uh, now that we've gotten into some legitimate uh, visitors here. We're seeing a, a lot of them where they're coming to one page and bouncing. And what page are they hitting mostly? Index, which is your home page. Okay. So um, then we've got uh, um, this one going to your blog, this one going to the blog, uh, another home page. All right. So next thing I would do is let's scroll up to the top here and look at these links over on the side. And we want to go here to popular pages. And so we've got a lot of bounces. Where are they hitting? Well, they're coming into your home page. The majority of your visitors are coming to the home page. So that tells me there may be something on the home page. Now, again, we don't have a lot of traffic yet. If we had 50 to 100 visitors a day and this was happening, then I would definitely be, con be concerned. I would go in and say, all right, why are they not going further? <clears throat> we don't really have that much here. Most of the visitors aren't legitimate searchers for the product, okay? But as we look at your home pages, there's something that we could change, something we could uh, improve, um, and it possibly could be this banner image. You know, maybe uh, they, they come, they see this right here, but it's not clickable. So maybe we could change that and make that clickable uh, so that uh, they actually can come through to the site. Um, so that's one thing we could think about. Um, we've got this. Uh, uh, item here that isn't a, a, a clickable link, but we do have the, the clickable products right down below here. And so it's not like we don't offer any uh, clickable products, but as we as we get further, you know, having visitors coming to the site, those are some of the things we look at is, okay, they're hitting this page constantly and leaving from this page, why? And so then you start analyzing the page to decide, can I do something different to maybe pull them in? And then you make one change. And this is the hard part. <coughs> Excuse me. When it comes to marketing and uh, um, statistics with your website, w when you're analyzing things on your site, do not change more than one thing at a time. And when you make that change, you have to let, just let it go for two weeks at least, minimum two weeks, maybe three or four, to just watch your statistics to see what happens. And really, I would say you need to have uh, uh, maybe, 
I don't know, one or two thousand visitors go through the site before you look at your stats again to decide what's happening. So I wouldn't look at it as a, as a two-week thing because if you only have five visitors a day and you let it go two weeks to test that change, you're not testing anything. There, there, you don't have enough statistics. So if you have 100 visitors per day to your site and you make a change, a couple of weeks is okay to run that test. But if we have less than that, then look at it more as a number. Um, maybe run 1,000 to 2,000 visitors through the site before you look at your stats to decide, did that change help? Okay, so you have to just leave it alone. Don't change anything else because we, we need to have that control of what is occurring to know whether, it, uh, um, whether it's something that is uh, helping us or not. Okay, so with this current uh, example here, uh, uh, again, we're looking at uh, very low statistics um, with only 20 or 30 visitors a day, uh, averaging around 30, I guess we'd say. Uh, most of those are uh, just corporate headquarters of Facebook and Google, so there's very few legitimate uh, um, you know, searchers there, but we do have a few of them. I would say you know you could go in and uh, uh, perhaps change this to a clickable link to go somewhere and see if that helps and uh, you know if if uh, within the next couple of weeks we see that people are actually clicking through to some of those links and pages then great it was good that's that was the problem that's what we needed to change okay and so that's how you use statistics.